Hey, what is up guys, my name is KST, you're watching that R36S guy, and today we're gonna install Classic Cube, the well-known Minecraft port for our R36S. So stay tuned, the process isn't that complicated, you're gonna do it easily, trust me. So the first thing you're gonna do is open the link from my video description which is the portmaster link okay then we're gonna search for classy cube here it is just click on it then click download and let it download so after downloading the .zip file all you're gonna do is extract the .zip file into the ports folder of your SD card like you do with other ports normally after extracting make sure to press eject so that your contents do not go corrupt like me <laughs> After putting the classic U files in your SD card, we're just gonna insert it. The next thing we're gonna need is an OTG cable to connect our R36S to the internet via a USB or a Wi-Fi dongle. In this case, I'm using a USB to my Samsung old phone so next thing we just put it inside like this put it in the OTG port then power our R36S I recommend using a Samsung's phone uh, because it is more compatible for USB tethering in the other phone just click on USB tethering and it will turn on. To check if we are connected to the internet we have to run a script which is known as network info. Just click on it, wait for a while and see wired connection. This says we are connected to the internet successfully. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is just run Classic Cube. Let it load. Then it will ask you for this. You can control it using the D-pad and select using the start button. You just select the DS and it started downloading. Let it download for a while. So after downloading all the files, this menu will show up. So if you do not want to play multiplayer, you can just simply go and play single player. It works fine. You can optimize it and even put new textures, everything you want like according to you. It works fine. You can also set up controls. We will cover up them in later video. So let's now set up the multiplayer. So to set up the multiplayer, we're gonna quit the game. Start it. So when you enter this screen, you just have to plug it out. The next thing you're gonna need is a keyboard, any type of keyboard. Here in this case I'm using a wireless keyboard, so I'll plug the OTG of the wireless keyboard. Let me bring the keyboard. In this case I'm using this keyboard, so I'll just turn it on again and it is connected then I will type my username 
as you can see it is working properly then sign in so it will display error shapes when signing in this shows we are not connected to the internet we do not have to worry you simply plug it out and do this then we are gonna connect it to the internet again so I'm doing this because uh, I only have a single OTG lying around the other USB hubs like this they work but the power delivery for other devices like more than one devices is pretty less you can try it but not good so after connecting to the internet let's just start the class queue again so as you can see my inputs are already saved which is pretty good so all I gotta do is sign in and it will sign in and show me the server list these are all the servers you can join and play multiplayer for example if I turn Omni Archive it will connect it depends on your internet connection if it's fast it will load ok so yeah this is a multiplayer it works well so now let's talk about the controls so as you can see normally we use the right joystick to look around left joystick to move and these yeah, X to open the inventory Y to fly A to jump B to crouch and these d-pad are of no use right now and uh, L1 and R2 to move around the inventory the hotkeys whatever you say and the other two buttons to break and place blocks so now let's talk about how to set up the controls so to set up the controls you just gotta press select which will open the game menu in game menu you have to go in the options controls here you can see there is a whole list you can set it to whatever you like you can customize it so to sprint but suppose I want to sprint and to speed up my movement I will press this button and my character will move faster also one thing here these uh, connections these controls are inverted so if I press the right button, it should place a block, not break a block. So let me fix that. So now it is fixed. Let's configure other controls too. Also change this to up okay. and 
looks good. Let us test it. Okay, so as you can see, we are running at a pretty bad FPS. Let me change the graphics too. Set it to right. We done with the settings. Uh, the game runs good, but suppose I want to make it run more good. I will just change the fog, the fog level. So this is the most fog I cannot see around. Uh, this is better. We're getting playable FPS. Also, our controls are configured with R2 and policing blocks and wood. So, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking. And please tell us in the comments if you want more videos on the R36S. If you like the style of these videos or any improvements I can make, please tell me in the comments. Thanks a lot.